Hi guys, Debbie here, welcome to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a bit of a try on of the MAC 2019 holiday collection. I've picked uh, seven items from the collection, two face palettes, three lipsticks, and two of the Spellbinder shadows. So I've got a few bits to show you, not got it all, there's a lot in the collection, couldn't get it all, but hopefully it'll give you an idea of what the collection's all about if you're looking at picking anything up from the collection. Stars are my thing and normally MAC collections just pass me by, they're beautiful but they're kind of, I see them as like gift sets to give away to other people so I've not really uh, invested in them before and I haven't got very many MAC products but I tried a blush in the summer, one of the extra dimension blushes and absolutely fell in love with it so I decided I wanted more of those and the palettes have got some extra dimension products in so it's a good way to pick those up if you wanting to try more of those and want to do it for an economic price in beautiful packaging. So without further ado, I'm going to get into the video. I'm going to be showing you the products on my eyes, on my cheeks and on my lips. Uh, I'm going to just swatch out a couple of the lipsticks on my arm or on the back of my hand and then I'll choose the lipstick that I want to go with my look. Uh, I'm not going to lip swatch them all. I'm not very good at lip swatches. I don't seem to do a very good job of that. So. So that's what we're going to do today. So I'm going to scoot you in a little bit so that I can show you the products a little bit, give you a rundown of the products and then start applying them. So I'm going to start, I think, with the face palettes. So I've got two of the face palettes in my monthly haul. I've showed you one of them, which is this one. I'm hoping I'll be able to get it to show a little bit because when I watched the footage back on that video, it was really... Uh, like blinding in the lights. I've turned the lights down a little bit so that you can maybe see the packaging a little bit better. But it's that kind of packaging that's glittery but the glitter doesn't come off. So if you're familiar with say the Sultry palette by Anastasia, it's similar finish to the packaging on that. And then you've got MAC in metal in gold on the front there, like a rose gold. And then the palette has a mirror and then that's the shades inside and you've got two extra dimension blushes so you've got dipped in the stars and sipping on stars and then two extra dimension skin finishes show gold and high frequency i imagine that's show gold that's high frequency so i wanted this one because you've got the extra dimension blushes in there and i think those highlights will be great on a a light skin tone like mine. This is the light compact and there is a deeper one which I also have as well. So this is the Star Dip Compact in Medium Deep and this is the recent one that I've just picked up. I kind of felt like I was missing out by not getting this one as well. And although it says Medium Deep it will work for me I think and I'll show you the shades inside. So you've got a bronzer shade that looks quite dark on camera but in real life it doesn't look quite as dark as that. So that one's called Delphic and then you've got an extra dimension blush there but that looks more like a bronzer or a bronzer topper to me and that's in cloudy copper and then you've also got two extra dimension skin finishes you've got snow flushed and oh darling so I think that's snow flushed and that's oh darling but don't quote me on that because it doesn't sort of point to which one is which and the, the names are on the back but I think I could use that one as kind of a blush or a blush topper and I think I would get away with that one as a highlight. So I think even though this is supposed to be medium deep, I think it's light enough to work on my skin tone, but obviously would work very well for a medium skin tone as well. So I think they've done a really good job with the colours in these. I've got a very uh, good magnet as you heard when it just closed there. So that's the two face palettes. So we're going to be dipping into both of those today. I also picked up two of the Spellbinder eyeshadows and these come in little pots like this with really beautiful glittery lids. Everything's packaged really nicely actually. I'll show you the, the package for the face palette. It's got stars all over it, all the ingredients on the back. And then the package for the little Spellbinders is, is that size. So they're really nice as gifts. But if you don't know anything about the Spellbinder shadows, and I didn't know anything about them until I picked these up, they've got ionised pigments in them, so they're kind of magnetic, so they stay in the pan, but they are a loose shadow. So the ones that I picked up are Wishful Thinking and Stars Align. So Wishful Thinking is a purple. You have like a little seal, which I've just taken off there. And then that's the shade. Just going to bring it in close so that you can maybe see that. 
That's super, super beautiful. I'm going to swatch both of these on the back of my hand when I've shown you them both. And then this one is Stars Align. But there's two others. There's a black that shifts to green, which is really beautiful, and a red. And I probably will end up succumbing and getting them all. But they're £19 each, and the face compacts are £39. So fairly pricey. I picked up my first set in John Lewis in the UK, they're 20% off and I picked up my second set in Debenhams and Debenhams have 15% off at the moment. So you can get some discounts on these if you shop around. I will just swatch these out because I'm not going to be able to use both on my eyes. I don't think I'm probably going to just use one. So I'll just give you an idea of the colours. So there's the two colours on the back of my hand there. So there's a silver and a lilac -y purple, both super pretty. I think you'll get a better idea looking at them on my fingers though, because they're a lot more impactful like that. And I think packed over something like a glitter glue, they're going to be a lot more intense than they look in a swatch. But just to give you an idea of them there. Okay, so that's the Spellbinder eyeshadows. And then I picked up three of the Kiss of Stars lipsticks. And the packaging for these is just stunning so let's see if I can show you that but just absolutely beautiful the packaging is the same on all colors so it's black with this glitter so you can't tell the color without looking on the end that's the only thing I would say would have made it a little bit easier when you're grabbing for them but but the names are, are on the bottom and quite easy to see so I've got three of them I've got walk of flame which is this beautiful beautiful red got Asterix which is gorgeous purple and very unusual I like my unusual colours and this one is destined for stardom beautiful silver there were some neutral colours there was a very bright pink so lots of other colours um, you know if you prefer to wear neutrals or you want a a berry tone that was one of those or a, a super bright pink but they were just the three colours that spoke to me. I love a red lipstick and I like unusual lipsticks so that's why I went for those. So I'm just going to swatch those out on the back of my hand so you can see the shades and as I say I will be wearing one of these when I've completed the look. Not sure which one's going to go the best at the moment because I'm never sure when I do an eyeshadow look what it's going to turn out like. So there's the three colours swatched out so Walk of Flame, Asterix and Destined for Stardom. I'm not sure if it's coming off on camera, but how reflective and just gorgeous these are. They've got quite an intense kind of glitteriness to them. I think the red one, Walk of Flame, is less glittery. And the silver one, Destined for Stardom, is definitely the most sparkly and would be great as a topper over other lipsticks. I think I'm going to have to go for the purple one today, though, because... I love a purple lipstick and that one's just calling my name. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in with the face palette. So I've got no contour or anything on. So I'm going to use like blush as contour, I think, today. These do kind of fold all the way back if you're careful. So I'll be able to hold it like that to show you. So I'm going to go in with the, the bronzer shade, Delphic. Just hope it's not too dark for me. No, I think it's going to be fine. I'm just going to put my hair back. No, that will definitely work for pale skin if it's working for me and I am pretty pale like I'm a NW13 in MAC foundation if that helps you to know my colour and if you're familiar with MAC but that is beautiful and it's one of these that it's not going on streaky at all it's going on super nice easy to blend really really like that I've never tried their bronzers before. Really like that. Gorgeous. Just had to change my battery if I'm in slightly a, a different position or the lighting's slightly different. That's what happens when I change my battery. But but yeah, loving how that's applying. And I'm applying quite a lot. It's one of these that you can just keep going and going and you're not going to like end up like too streaky. So that's good because I find it difficult to find a good bronzer shade for me being so pale. And I did take a chance with this one, knowing that it was supposedly medium deep. You know, it could have been too dark for me. So, not mad at that. I think that's really, really pretty. 
I'm going to top that with the shade that says it's a blush, but I think it's a bronzer topper. Got a different brush to do that bit more of a buffing brush. I'm just going to just buff that on the high points of where I've put that bronzer. That's just giving it a bit more of a glow, I think, without changing it too much in terms of colour. So they're the only colours I'm going to use out of this palette. I'll just swatch out the other two so you can see them. They're the other two colours in the palette. Super pretty and I think I will be able to use both of those as highlights, the goldy one in particular, but the pinky one as a blush topper for sure. Okay, with this one I'm going to swatch all of them out and try and decide which I want to, to wear as my look. So that's the colours in there. Super pretty blushes in there. I think I'm going to stay in the pink zone, so I'm going to try this one because it looks gorgeous. That's my blush. Go in with a light hand first because I'm not sure how pigmented these are going to be. It's a really pretty flush. I like the, the tones of that. Like it's not too pink because sometimes I'll choose pink ones and they're like bubblegum pink. It's got a pink to it but it's not, it's more of a reddish pink. I don't know, it's how to describe, I'm the worst at describing colours. But it's not peach but it's not like bubblegum pink either. So I really, really like the shade of that. Really gorgeous. Probably put too much on now but I love blush. And then I'm going to go with that highlight, I think. Okay, it's not a, a blinding highlight. But if I shift a little, you can see it. On me, it's perhaps a little bit too dark to be a highlight and it's more a, a blush topper but that's why oh, I think you can see it better on that cheek it is reflecting nicely I'm just going to mix a bit of the the lighter shade just to see if I can get a bit more highlight there yeah I think that lighter one is better for me as a highlight and I think the the darker one looks beautiful as a like more of a blush topper. And I like to blind from space so <laughs> with my highlight. But there's no glitter as such. They're just super reflective and wet looking, but there's no glitter on the skin, which I know a lot of people don't like glitter. I don't mind glitter, so it's fine for me. But yeah, I really love how they've come out. I'm not sorry I bought those at all. They're gorgeous. All right, we're going to go in with the purple shadow wishful thinking. I'm going to need to build up a little bit of crease work before I put that on so just going to quickly do that off camera and then I'll be back. So I just went in in my crease just with planchette from the creepy cute palette just a bit of a lilac in my crease just to give me some matte to blend this shadow into. So because it's a loose pigment I'm going to use a glitter glue so it's got something to adhere to. They look like they've got quite a lot of binder in already but I think I'll get a lot more impact doing that. Okay I just used the NYX glitter glue as I normally do so now we're going to go with the shadows. I've got a packing brush here, it's the Sigma E57 Firm Shader, just to pick up some of the product. And I'm just going to apply that pretty much all over my lid. I'm not out for making a complicated eye look here, I just wanted to just show you the reflect on the shadows and how pretty they are really. Packing them over. The glitter glue is stopping it going everywhere, which is another good thing, but they're not particularly messy like a lot of these sort of products can be ultra messy because of them being a, a loose powder, but they're not particularly messy, which is good. She says that she gets a little bit of fallout. Easy to whisk away though, because they're loose shadow. And that's super, super pretty.
just where that meets the crease I'm just going to just blend a little bit there because I don't want it to be a harsh line between the shimmery shade and the, the matte there. Just going to go in with less way of indicate in my waterline just to pull the purple look together and I'm very carefully going to run a bit of that shadow underneath my eye as well the spellbinder shadow and I've not put any primer there so this will be a test of how well it adheres without a primer and it's going on all right actually just need to whisk some of that away in the outer corner just because why not I'm going to use a bit of the silver shade so stars align just in my kind of this little bit here in my lower lash line I'm going to pick it up on a pencil brush and spray it with a bit of MAC Fix Plus that's pretty it's like a gunmetal-y kind of silver a grey silver Okay, so quite an easy way to get a purple smoky eye actually. So I'm just going to hop off camera just to do a little bit of liner and mascara and then I'll be back with you to apply the lipstick together so that you can see how easy it is to apply or not. Right, so here's the eye look all finished. And I'm just going to apply the lipstick with you now. I'm going to be using the purple one, Asterix. so that's the lipstick applied wow I really really like that shade and to think I nearly didn't get that one I didn't get it in my first little haul but I love it if you like a metallic lip and you don't mind rocking a purple and something a bit more unusual it's got blue to purple shift in it super pretty super reflective and for being a glittery lipstick it doesn't feel glittery or uh, gritty at all on the lips and that surprised me because looking at it in the bullet there it does look as if it would be gritty but it isn't at all it's really really smooth and comfortable to apply and creamy so I don't know how long lasting it's going to be because it's not a liquid lipstick obviously it's going to still you know it's not going to dry down but super gorgeous so I think that's my favorite thing that I've tried today so my thoughts on the rest of the products then, obviously I've not used the other three lipsticks so I can't comment on those but they feel like they've got a similar formula to this one. The silver one is a bit sheerer I think and would go really well as a topper over other things to make them shiny and iridescent but I love this one so much. The palettes, I think the bronzer palette is gorgeous, nearly didn't pick it up because I thought with the title medium deep it might be too dark but that bronzer although it looks super dark against me on my skin it worked fine and I think it would look beautiful on deeper skin tones as well and this one here is great as a bronzer topper just to bring a bit of iridescence to the skin that I think I would have to wear as a blush topper too dark for me as a highlight uh, that one will probably work as a highlight uh, particularly if I've got a bit of colour you know in the summer that would look great but I'm also going on holiday at Christmas so eager to take these with me and to try them out there and then the blusher palette or blush and highlight palette the light palette I've only tried it well I've tried out those three love the corally tones of that it's as I say it's pink but it's not a bubblegum pink it is more of a coral I think that was the word I was looking for when I was describing it earlier it's like a coral blush that is super pretty but not a highlight for me more of a a blush topper that would work well as a highlight not tried that one of course but I think it will look lovely and then the two spellbinder shadows I think I've got more iridescent purples in my collection than this one I thought it would be a lot more glittery a lot more foil so the purple one wishful thinking although it's gorgeous if you've got purples in your collection I don't know if you need it gunmetally grey one though so that was stars align really love the tones of that it's a bit unusual it is gunmetal with a bit of iridescence in it i think that could look so cool over a matte black liner and then packed over that would look really really cool so i want to try that that with the silvery lipstick could look amazing 
but they are easy to apply. You don't get too much fallout for it being a loose product because of their ionized pigments, you know, and the magnet in the base. It does help keep everything together so you're not going to get, you know, glitter fallout and powder all over your vanity. So that's great. I think the colour I needed to get was the black with the green shift. Maybe even the red one because I do love red. So I think I probably will pick up the other two. And if I do, then I'll let you know what I think of those in another video. But eager to play with these some more and particularly the red lipstick because I love red. So hope it's been helpful for you to see some of the products and see them in action. As I say, I couldn't afford to pick up everything. There's a beautiful lipstick set that's got mini lipsticks in. I think there's 10 or 12 in that in a bag that looks like you could maybe store your straighteners in. It's really, really pretty. And mini lipsticks are great because it gets you to try out all the different formulas. And there were some sets that have got minis of lipsticks and face products in them. There were some eyeshadow sets. I think there's three of those with six pans of, of like the sort of colours that you would do a smoky eye with. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Oh, the lip gloss set, that looks really nice. I've not tried any of Max lip glosses, so I'm kind of tempted to, to splurge on that as well. I need to be stopped, I think, because I just love the packaging of this, the glitter, the stars, totally my jam. So, hope you've enjoyed seeing it. Let me know if you're planning to pick any of this up. Let me know if you like this kind of video where I'm going through the products and then giving you a bit of a try on and showing you how they work. Uh, if you're new to my channel, thank you for watching and I'd love it if you would consider subscribing before you go. But other than that guys, catch you in the next video. Bye!